I'm first going to make German pancakes. I'm starting with four tablespoons of melted butter and then just whisking them up a little bit. Then I'm going to add one cup of milk. Now make sure you kind of whisk as you do this because you don't want your butter to harden. <laughs> then you're going to add one cup of flour. Then on top of that, you're going to add six eggs. Once your eggs are added, you're going to mix it really, really well. Oh, I forgot one thing. Don't forget, just add a little bit of salt. Now you're going to mix it really well. Now, after I made my post, the Instant Pot must have, so you can find it in that little dot in the corner, I got a lot of requests for making things in these awesome pans that I found. So, you can either use a glass pan or these pans. So, right now I am just splitting my recipe in half, putting it in one pan, put the other pan on top, then pouring the rest of it into the second pan. Once it's all poured on, I'm just going to put the lid right on top and then close it up so we're ready to go. So put the handle down first and then pull the handle up. Once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your Instant Pot, put in your pot liner. I'm going to add about a cup and a half of water and then I'm going to put my awesome two-tiered pan. It's an Ecovana pan. I'll put it in the description below for you. Just put that right into your Instant Pot. Then you'll put the lid on. Make sure that it's on ceiling, not venting, ceiling here. Now it's time to set your Instant Pot. So I just push manual and then I went all the way up to 25 minutes because you have to cook those eggs. Once it's done, I did a quick release because I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> and I pulled it right out of my Instant Pot. Go ahead and take the handle off so you can open and check, see how it does. Oh, this German pancake looks awesome. Now it's a little more of a fluffier texture than your normal baked German pancake, but my family absolutely loved it. Now I just added some fruit on top and a little bit of powdered sugar and of course maple syrup. You're first going to take three eggs and whisk them all together. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla. Then add one teaspoon of cinnamon. You can add sugar too, but I think it's okay without it. Then you're going to add one fourth cup of milk and mix everything all together. Once you're done, go ahead and set it aside and we'll work on the French toast part. Now I have my awesome two-tiered pan, the Ecovana pan. I'll link it below and I'm going to spray the bottom with non-stick cooking spray. Next I'm going to add a half of a French bread loaf. Now I cut it into little squares to make it easier so it will actually fit inside my pan. Then I'm going to cut up two bananas and stick it on top. Now spread them out a little bit so you can get a banana in each bite. Here's my second banana and I'll just throw it on. Now if you want to use a glass pan, you can. I would half this recipe when baking it in a glass pan. I then added two heaping tablespoons of brown sugar. And then this is my favorite part. You grab a little bit of cream cheese and you're just gonna put a little bit of cream cheese all over the top of your French toast. Now it's kind of hard to get off the spoon, but trust me, it'll be worth it. When you're done adding your cream cheese, it's time to add your egg mixture on top. Now you're just going to try and spread it out the best you can so you can get all of the bread underneath the bananas. Now I'm going to add my other pan and place it on top and spray it and do the same steps like I did before. So if you don't want to watch my steps, you can go ahead and fast forward to how I cook it or you can just watch this again. I'll try and hurry. So I added my bread. I'm going to add my bananas. And now it's time for the egg mixture. Now I'm sure some of you would say you should have just doubled it. I was planning on just using that small amount, but then I realized I'm going to need three eggs and milk for each level. So now I've added my milk, my cinnamon, my vanilla. I'm mixing it all together so I'm ready to go. Now back to the French toast. I'm adding two or three heaping tablespoons of brown sugar. 
because it just makes it taste so good with the bananas. Now I'm just adding my cream cheese on top and we are all ready for the egg mixture. Again, pour it on top, spread it out the best that you can. Now I'm just gonna put the lid on top. Now make sure the one with the handle goes first so you can just pull it right up. There you go. Now I'm gonna add about one cup of water to my Instant Pot and then I'm gonna stick my double pan right inside. Now you're gonna close your lid, make sure that it's on sealing, not venting. Now I push the manual button and go all the way up to 25 minutes. Now I did a quick release because I am doing a house showing right now, so you get a different angle at the moment. So I'm gonna pull the lid off and pull out my pans. I've decided that trying to sell a house and make recipes, well, film recipes at the same time, sometimes can get hard. <laughs> so now I'm going to unlatch it and take the lid off to see how it looks inside. All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, it smells delicious. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but just wait. I mean, brown bananas never are pretty. So now you're gonna take a spoon and just spread your cream cheese all around the best that you can. Then you're just going to take out a piece and I like to serve it with syrup, powdered sugar, and pecans on top. Now for my last recipe, Instant Pot Oatmeal. Now I have a very special one-year-old helper helping me today, so I apologize for her little feet in this video. Now this oatmeal is so easy that even my five-year-old can make it. So you have one cup of oats. I just used normal oatmeal but you can use steel cut, you can use whatever you want. And then I added two and a half cups of water. That's the perfect amount for me. Some people add three cups, that's a little too wet. At least for me, I'm kind of picky about my oatmeal. All right, then I'm just gonna put the lid on, make sure you're on sealing, not venting, and you're gonna push manual and go all the way down to six minutes. You heard that right, it's only six minutes to make this oatmeal. Now I let this recipe release on its own for about 10 minutes. So when I pushed venting, there was nothing else to vent. So this is the texture of my oatmeal. I think it is absolutely perfect. You can make this oatmeal single servings and split it in half, or you can make it for a ton of people. So when I had family over, I made about six servings of this and did an oatmeal bar full of brown sugar, 